The main drivers for our success in this quarter and, and really the first half of the year is a very strong product pipeline. Uh, we have launched over the last few years a whole host of new vehicles that have been uh, extremely well received with our customers. Uh, so off the back of the strong uh, 2022, we now have a first half 2023 that has uh, followed that trend. If you're looking at the prices, though, you have increased your prices substantially for the product. So um, you're positioning Mercedes very firmly in that luxury niche. So how far can you go with that strategy? It's really about the customer and, and providing value for the customer. Uh, if you get a Mercedes, if you buy a Mercedes, you get a little bit more, but maybe you also pay a little bit more. But uh, uh, we do that in a thoughtful way. And I think price stability is something that the customers benefit from because it uh, keeps the uh, residual values up. Uh, so uh, we here uh, have a very thoughtful approach uh, in our go-to-market strategy. Let's look at the, the regional um, dispersion because clearly there are regions which are growing much faster. A lot of hopes are also on China. What is your, your take on China given the kind of lackluster reopening of the economy? If we look at the overall world macroeconomic picture, we really have uh, uh, in the three different regions, two things going on. We could see the Fed raise rates in the US again yesterday, and the rates uh, in Europe are also high, and some expect them to go even higher. So uh, naturally, uh, the whole strategy behind that is to get inflation under control and uh, to dampen some of the economic activity. So that's what we're facing in Europe and in the United States. Uh, but the economy has been very resilient there in spite of this in the first six months. Uh, for China, everybody expected that after the COVID restrictions were lifted, that they would move up quicker. That has not yet happened. Uh, so uh, we're watching the Chinese economy very closely, see what the authorities, what the government is going to do, uh, if they're going to put more stimulus into it. Uh, but the recovery so far has been slower in China than what many people expected. Uh, many hopes are on India. How is India doing as a market for Mercedes? We're doing very well in India. We're growing. It's still from a relatively low basis, but it's, it's one of the success stories of the markets. And India is not just a market for us. We have been producing vehicles for the Indian market for, for many years now, but it's also a technology hub. In fact, uh, our second biggest R&D center outside of Germany is in Bangalore, so uh, increasingly, it's also an innovation cluster for us. And uh, uh, we believe in India in terms of its market and its economic potential and continue to invest in that country.